So, I guess what I'm saying is if you don't like the way I talk or the way I sound or the way I deliver my direct channeled messages, um, maybe you could check out another channel. But please don't leave me negative comments on my wall because it kind of hurt my feelings. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so, with that being said, that is why I say um all the time. I don't know what I did that for. I, this is my clarifying deck. Okay, so this is for a different group of you. These were the five cards that flew out at the beginning and Spirit wanted me to take them, but um, wanted me to do it separate. So let's get started. What is the devil card here for Leo? What is the devil card here for Leo? In the last two weeks of February 2018, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Febu <laughs> Sun, Moon, Rising, and February... Hello, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Good thing Spirit knows what in the heck I'm talking about. Okay. That damn King of Pentacles again. What's up? Whoa. And the Queen of Wands in reverse. Leo, there you are. What the heck? This is the same freaking message. He just said take the top five cards. They were all on the table. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Here you are, fire sign, Leo. With your back turned. I just did this reading. And your back was turned. And the king of pentacles was facing forward in the top row. And then in the second row is the vice versa with the clarifying deck. Okay. I'm going to... Oh, wow. There's that lover's card that flew out on the ground. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get clarifiers for these quick while I'm letting these messages from um, <laughs> from Spirit Channel in. Can I get clarifiers for the other four cards on the table, please, Spirit? Also, another reason why I say um is because it tunes out all the background noise, like things you wouldn't even notice, like my air, my air diffuser, you know, or people in the background talking in the other room or whatever. It helps me block out all those daily like background noises that we get so used to so I can intently hear because a lot of times um, it sounds like somebody's talking on the other side of the wall with a glass up to their ear and you're still trying to hear them so it helps me tune out things plus it helps the vibrations in my head help me hear it. sorry i must i'm probably over explaining it but that comment really bothered me okay why is the ten of swords here Ooh. Any other clarifying cards that I need, Spirit? Any other clarifying cards? No? Okay. Ooh, but that moon just popped up three times in a row when I stopped um, shuffling. Uh, secrets are out. Secrets are out. Okay, Leos. So, there is a For a group of you, there is a very codependent relationship going on. And it's the male energy that, or the divine, or the masculine energy, not divine, the masculine energy to the feminine energy, he is the one that is codependent on her. Because as you see, he, he is looking towards her right now. She ain't looking towards him.
Everything that this guy has is hers. But the feminine energy is turning her back on the masculine energy and cutting this person off. She's tired of feeling trapped there. She feels trapped because she she's she worries if she leaves him that how's he going to make it? What's he going to do? How is he going to do it without me? So she feels trapped there. She feels stuck there. She doesn't know what to do. She don't want to be there. She's not hurt or, you know, she has a very pleasant look on her face for being surrounded by swords and blindfolded and tied, but so she but she doesn't want to be there because she knows that this isn't her spiritually guided relationship. So in the month of February, the feminine energy in this relationship, which I get is you, Leo, um, you, uh, feminine energy, Leos, you are turning your back on an earth sign because you're tired of feeling trapped and you figured out that they can, they can do it on their own. They may have to work for it. They're going to have to work for it, but they can make it on their own. And this is also going to give you a fresh new beginning, a new start at life, because you are tired of being chained to this person, feeling like you can't move on because you're worried about who's going to take care of them. But that shouldn't be your concern. They're big, they're big boy, big girl, whatever. You, that shouldn't be your concern, but it is because you have a big heart, Leo. You know, you, you're going to put your guard up. You are defensive about this relationship. You defend him, I'm seeing. You defend him and your choices to everybody. But you're getting out of this. But this is a strong hold because you have it in both the regular deck and the clarifying deck in only a matter of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards out of both these decks, all these cards, you have it both times. This is strong on you. It has been holding you down for a long time, holding you back. But after these secrets come out, you are just, you're, you're done. You are washing your hands of it. You are ready for a fresh new beginning and new start. And you are choosing to leave. You are going to put your guard up, your walls up, and you are leaving this devil energy. The rest of your cards. The eight of wands in reverse. You're cutting off communication. You are not, you know what you deserve now. You know what you are worth. You know you got ships coming in. You're cutting this person off. Uh, communication wise. Because you're tired of carrying the burden of this relationship. This is the um, four of wands in reverse. You can no longer handle this burden on your back. And you're responsible for it all. Because you've been backstabbed. You've been lied to. You've been deceived by secrets. And you are turning your back. I didn't even see these cards. You are turning your back with your emotions. The queen of cups. And you are getting a fresh new start. Holy crap. I didn't even look at these cards when I was reading that. New beginnings. Look at this. 10, 10. This is, as this is as bad as it can get. The next stage is you are done. You have laid them down. You not only carry the whole responsibility of this relationship. You worry about this guy. Or, you know, this masculine energy how he's being taken care of and all that. And he's a grown up. Put those wands down. Let this unhealthy, unhappy relationship go because you've been getting lied to, deceived, deceived, taken advantage of. And I see you turning your back and taking a new path, new path. Now this This is not a uh, twin flame. This isn't a twin flame reading. That last one was, yes. This is an end to a karmic situation. 
This is an end to a karmic relationship. So you can find that spiritually uh, guided. Here we go. You are leaving this karmic, Leos. This is you leaving. If you are a Leo considering leaving, you haven't been trusting your intuition in the past. You've been um, ignoring that gut feeling that you know what's going on. Even though you don't have proof, you know. And, you know, you know, though. I mean, this is the two cups in reverse. Look at how the grass is dead around them. You see here how it's green and luscious and the stars up there. That's their wish come true. On the back side, the sun is setting on this relationship. It's coming to an end. The grass is brown. Like you weren't trusting your gut, your um, intuition, to, telling you that this isn't for you. This isn't your four of wands relationship. This isn't your new beginning because a four of wands relationship does not do this to their partner. They don't. They don't do this to their partner. Yeah, spirit is saying put these to this is this is actually like so positive though to see these in the reverse both tens because your next phase is the fool and you're there it's here you are turning you are taking your cup and you are leaving march is going to be a huge for you guys leo march is going to be huge i might actually do that one yet later tonight after i get the rest of my february is done just because um 